Hello, first grade friends. Welcome to week two of Universal Remote Learning. It is Mr. Chismar here coming to you from my classroom. And it's time for our weekly phonics instruction video. I know that we had a lot of work to do the first week, but hopefully you're getting in the swing of things. You have a really good schedule and you guys are working really, really hard. I cannot wait to see all of your hard work uh, when you turn it in this Friday, okay? So this week in handwriting, you are gonna be working on five letters, okay? And we're gonna start with the letter F. So today, which is Monday, which is Monday, August 24th, you are going to do the partner letters F. Now F is a consonant, okay? And like I said, handwriting is very important because if you don't have neat handwriting, we can't read your writing in your journals or your papers or your worksheets. How are we gonna know what you know? So it's really, really important. Before we begin, remember there's a song that we sing because it's very important of how we start our letters. We always start them at the top. Where do we start our letters at the top? At the top. Where do we start our letters at the top? At the top. If you want to start a letter, then you better, better, better. Remember to start it at the top, at the top. Okay, starting with the letter F. F is a frog jump letter, okay? Which means you're gonna make a big line down just like a lowercase l or the number one. And then we're gonna do two small lines, one at the very top and one on the dashed line. See that? Very neat. Let's do it again. Big line down, pick your pencil back up, slide to the right, slide to the right. One more time. Big line down, pick your pencil back up, slide to the right, slide to the right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, moving on to our lowercase s. This is actually one of my favorite letters because you know why? You get to make a candy cane, one of those delicious uh, candies that you get around the holidays. So you make a candy cane and it touches the top and the bottom. See that candy cane? And then we cross in the middle. Let's do it again. Candy cane, cross in the middle. So you will trace all of your capital F's Trace all of your lowercase steps. Then come on down to our third line. Trace your first capital F. Leave some space. And you're going to then make capital F's on this line. So let's watch how mine look without tracing. Big line down. Slide to the right. Slide to the right. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is not right. Does that look the same? No, because it doesn't touch the top or the bottom line, and the little lines aren't where they're supposed to be. Let's look at this one, if this one's neat. Does that look? No, that one line, little line, isn't on the middle dashed line, so that's not right. What about this one, big line down? Does that look right? No, it does not. So again, big line down touches the top and the bottom. Slide to the right, slide to the right, okay? To make a lowercase f, remember, candy cane, cross in the middle. The candy cane has to touch the top and bottom line, okay? Let's look at this one. Is that right? Nope because it doesn't touch the top or the bottom line. Does this one, is this right? No, because where we cross, it's not on that dashed line. So make sure it looks just like that, all right? And that is how you make your partner letter Fs for Monday, August 24th. Now, we're gonna go ahead, you can stop this video, and then I will, you can return to this tomorrow for partner letter G's, okay? So I'm going to erase and get ready for that. Okay, here we go, here we go. G's. All right, G's are also consonants, friends. All right, so let me move this up just a little bit. Okay, the G goes good, right? Now, to make a capital G, this is what we do, we start where? At the, oh, I even think I heard you guys, at the top. So we start at the top. We make a magic C. Do you see how I made a C? 
Do you see that? We go up to the dotted line and we slide back to the left. So this is a magic C letter. So magic C, up to the dash line, slide to the left. One more time. Magic C, slide back to the left. Do you see how my G touches the top and the bottom line? It's very important that your letters are the right size. Now, to make your lowercase g, this is a diving letter. It dives under the line, okay? So we make a magic C again. Do you see that? See that C? Then I go up and then I dive down into the water and make a tail, okay? So let's watch again, magic C. Go up and dive down. So, it's very important. Do you see how my lowercase g only touches that middle line? Because it needs to be the right size. The belly, the circle part, touches the middle line and this dotted line. So you will trace your capital G's and your lowercase g's. Now let's move on to making our own. Let's see if mine look correct. Magic C. Go up and slide to the left. I trace the first one. Leave space. Here we go. Magic C. Up and slide. That's pretty good. What about this? Does that look like a good capital G? No, it does not. It kind of looks like almost a six to me. We don't want our G's to look like a six. What about this? No, because the line that we slide on has to be on the middle line, dashed line. So one more time, magic C, go up to the dotted line, slide back. That is a good capital G. Now, to make a lowercase g, here we go. Magic C, okay, go up, dive down, magic C, dive down, magic C, Dive down. Those are beautiful G's. I'm really impressed with myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss my brain. I'm so good. Now, what about this? Does this look right? No, it didn't dive down in the belly. The circle part is even too small. What about this? No, that's not right either. So make sure your G's look just like the ones that are in gray. It's very important because that way they're the right size, okay? And you will do your partner letter G's on Tuesday, August 25th, okay? Now you can stop this video for Tuesday and come back to it and resume the video for Wednesday for our next set of partner letters, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. I'm back. Hi. It is Wednesday, August 26th, and today we are going to make partner letter H's. Yes, partner letter H's, all right? H's are super duper easy to make. So, here we go. Let's start off. Capital H, all right? H is a consonant, remember? And H goes, okay? Now, there's, I know, there is one girl's name that I know that starts with an H. Does anybody, uh, who's watching this whose first name begins with an H? Um, so you, this is really important that you know how to make your capital H because your name starts with it, okay? So let's watch. We have two big lines down. Do you see that? It looks like you wrote the number 11, actually. And then you connect on, it, on the dotted line in the middle. Very easy, all right? Two lines down, connect in the middle. Two lines down, two big lines down, connect in the middle. Make sure that the line that connects it in the middle is right on this dotted line, okay? Very easy. Now, to make your lowercase h, again, we're going to start at the top, just like all of our other letters, okay? So we make a big line down. Do you see that? I do not pick up my pencil, though. I slide up, and I hill around. I make like a little hill, because hill starts with the sound, okay? 
So big line down, push up, and hill around. All right, so you will trace your capital and lowercase h's, right? Then we're going to make our capital H on our own. So let's watch. One big line down that touches the top and the bottom. Another big line down. Cross in the middle. Let's see how our capital H's should not look. They should look like this. First off, I start at the bottom. That's a no-no in first grade. We always start our letters at the top. They don't, the two big lines don't touch the top line, and it doesn't cross in the middle. That's a sloppy H. What about this one? No, because guess what? That line in the middle is not in the middle of the dotted line. That's not right. What about this one? You know what's wrong with this? It's floating in space and our letters cannot float. No, they have to be on the ground. So we gotta make sure that it's on the ground. So again, one more time, two big lines down, cross in the middle, okay? All right, now let's make our lowercase h's. Again, we're starting at the top. Where do we start our letters at the top? Okay, here we go, big line down, Okay, touch the top and bottom. Do not pick your pencil up. Slide up and hill around. Okay, let's look at it again. Big line down, slide up and hill around. Let's look at how our lowercase h's should not look. Our hill part should not go above. That to me almost looks like the lowercase n, which is still too big, okay? And your hill cannot be too small. No, 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 it's too small of a hill. We want just the right size hill. Just like that, where it touches right on that dotted line. So, make sure you make some beautiful H's for me for Wednesday, August 26th, okay? And come back tomorrow, okay, for our next letter of the day for our handwriting, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, guys. It's Thursday, August 27th. Yeah, we're almost through the second week. Yay. And we are going to make our next letter, which is I. I is a vowel. I can make two sounds. It can go I. See, I squish my nose up. Or it can go I. It can say its name. Okay? So... These are very, these are super duper easy letters to make. And there are some of you that have a name to start with an I too. I know. So it's very important that you know how to make these beautiful letters, okay? So remember, we're gonna start at the top. So to make your capital I, slide from the top to the bottom, just like the number one, right? Then I like to put a hat and some feet just like that, and the hat and the feet are right on that top and bottom line. Let's watch again. Big line down. We got a hat and some feet. Trace your capital lines. Pretty easy, right? Now to make your lowercase size, that's even easier. We start at the middle line, and we make a little line down, a little bitty line. It's only half the size, right? And this is the important part. You have to put a dot above it. See that? So, little line down, dot on top. Little line down, dot on top. Okay? Trace your lowercase size. Now we're gonna make them on our own, right? So let's do it. So what was the first thing I do? Big line down, right? Like the number one touches the top and bottom line. A hat and some feet. Let's see what it should not look like, okay? First off, they cannot float in space. It's got to be on the ground. Also, when you make your big line down like that, make sure that your hat and your feet are right on that top line and bottom line. Are those? No. So it's not right. It doesn't look neat. We want it to be beautiful and neat, just like you're putting your writing in the Museum of Handwriting Art. Okay? Big line down. 
make a hat, and make some fees. And that, my friends, is a beautiful I. Now, to make your lowercase I. Remember, it cannot go up. You start the dotted line and little line down and a dot. Just like that. It should not go above the dotted line. That goes above, it's too tall. It should not be little bitty. That's too small. I need a microscope to almost see that. It should be just right. And make sure when you make your dots, I want you to look at this. I do not want big, big blobs on there. No, we don't do that. Okay, we make nice little dots above, just like that, okay? So please go ahead and complete your partner letter I's for Thursday, August 27th, all right? And come back tomorrow for your very last day of handwriting for week two, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm back again. Yes, I know I'm in the same clothes. I'm recording this all at once for you guys, okay? But you guys are pausing each day. I don't want you to think I'm wearing the same thing five days in a row, okay? So, we're gonna make our partner letter J's. These are fun too, and we have some students in our class whose name begins with a J, okay? Remember, we're always starting at the top, okay? So to make a capital J, we start at the top, we push down, and we curve around and we put a hat on it. Just like that. Push down, curve around, hat on top. Do you see where the curve touches just that line? That's what we want, okay? So trace your capital J's. Oh, we're gonna dive down for my lowercase j's. Okay, we're gonna dive on down. So start at the middle line and we dive down and put a dot on top. Start at the dashed line, the middle line, dive down, dot on top. One more time. Dive down, dot on top. Now, you have to make them on your own, right? Where there's nice space, just like these between each of your J's. So we're gonna start at the top, and we're going to make a capital J and put a hat on it. Make sure that it's not floating like that. It didn't touch. That's not right. And make sure the hat is right on the top line. See how that one isn't? So those are not good uh, capital J's, okay? So again, big line down, curve around, and put a hat on top, okay? Now, to make my lowercase j's, we are going to start at the dotted line, and I'm going to push down and dive down and put a dot on top, okay? And I smudged that one, sorry guys. See, I smudged with my finger, okay? So I'm gonna do it again to show you. Dive down, there we go, and a dot. Now, make sure that you don't go too high. Does that look right? No, and some of you are gonna do this. Wait a minute, did that dive down? No, it did not. So, it's not the right size. So, make sure you start the dashed line, this middle line, dive down below, and put a dot above, okay? So, I can't wait to see your beautiful handwriting for week two. This is for Friday, August 28th. You guys have a wonderful day. I cannot wait to see your beautiful writing. Work really hard, and I cannot wait to see you guys when we get back to school. I love you all. Bye.